The second type of IMF that we're going to study is called hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding is a special and very strong type of dipole force. It occurs when hydrogen, has to be hydrogen, is bonded to a highly electronegative element, either oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine. So once again, we'll see hydrogen bonding take place when a molecule has hydrogen bonded to oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine. So examples would be water, ammonia, hydrogen fluoride. So here's a molecule of water. Uh, we've seen this before with the partially positive and partially negative. Now remember, hydrogen has to be bonded to a highly electronegative element like oxygen. Well, here's hydrogen, and you can see that it's bonded to the highly electronegative oxygen. Where students often get confused is they think that this is the hydrogen bond. This is not the hydrogen bond. Remember that a hydrogen bond is a type of intermolecular force. A hydrogen bond takes place between molecules. So that is not the hydrogen bond. That is a type of intramolecular force. But this molecule will exhibit hydrogen bonding. It will just be between this molecule and that molecule. So here, this attraction here, that's the intermolecular force. That is an example of hydrogen bonding. The reason why we know that there'll be a hydrogen bond here is because hydrogen is bonded to a highly electronegative element, oxygen. So because this H is bonded to that O, it tells us that this molecule will participate in a hydrogen bond with another water molecule. So there's two reasons why a hydrogen bond is so strong. Here they are. The first one is due to the large polarity of the bond. Because oxygen is so highly electronegative, um, oxygen is it's not fully negative, but it, it's got a lot of partial negative charge, leaving this with a lot of partial positive charge. So there's a, a, um, a big disparity of charge here. The second reason is that hydrogen has a small radius, and it allows for the close approach of other molecules. So you know that hydrogen is really just a proton. So because this is so small, this negative oxygen is able to approach it and get very close to it. So once again, a hydrogen bond is nothing more um, than a strong type of dipole force. And it occurs when hydrogen is bonded to oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine. Hydrogen bonding is responsible for many of water's unique properties. You're probably already familiar with these like the fact that water is a liquid at room temperature, the fact that water has a high surface tension. You know what surface tension is. It enables um, insects like this uh, to literally walk on top of the water. It's almost like a skin that forms on the surface, and that's because the water molecules are attracted so strongly to one another. It's almost like a bunch of magnets all pulling tight together. Hydrogen bonding is responsible um, for water's meniscus and capillary action. See the meniscus shape here? Um, additionally, hydrogen bonding is why the solid phase of water, called ice, is less dense than the liquid phase. That's why ice floats. There's an example of ice floating in case you weren't sure what that looked like.